when my friends look at me, they say, where did you get such a big brain? And I say, yes, it is truly big. It has perhaps 70 billion nerve cells, perhaps double the number of those Australopithecines. But hold your Hipparian horses, my friend. Brains don't come cheap. They are so very expensive and a brain, which is the size of those Homo sapiens, which comes later, may spend 20% of the body's energy while only making up 2% of the body's weight. While it is not so high in me, nevertheless, the only way to get a big brain is to find more and better nutrition to supply this big brain. If you look at my friends, the Australopithecines, they need to chew and chew and chew. They are eating raw food and mostly plant material at that. They do not get as much protein. They do not get as much fat. Many of the proteins coming from plants are not complete proteins with all the amino acids that they need. Therefore, it is very hard for them to support the development of a big brain because they do not get adequate nutrition for this big brain. We members of the species Homo erectus, we had a better way. We began to eat more meat. Now, we began scavenging mostly. And we ate a lot of reptiles, such as crocodiles and turtles. Their bones can be associated with Homo erectus sites. But as we got better at using tools, one can see this from the cut marks made on bones, we began to incorporate more big mammals into our diets, especially as we began to live more in open steppe environments. And so, as hunters and as top predators in our ecosystem, we had more and more access to meat and fat and the marrow of bones, and this allowed us to support the metabolic needs of larger brains.